Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Microsoft Word makes it easy to post to an online blog. A couple of the supported sites are SharePoint Blog and WordPress. The first time you post to a blog from Word, you are asked to register your blogging account. Word displays a pop-up box asking you to register now or register later. Either way, you must register before posting. You can create your blog post first, though. To use your existing document or to create a new blog post, click the File tab in the ribbon. Then choose the Share command. Then click the Post to Blog option to display the available actions. A list of some of the supported blogs appears to the right. Here, click the Post to Blog button to launch a new document window specifically for blog posts. This is when the Register a Blog Account pop-up box appears asking you to register now or register later. Choose either option. Notice that this new window is like the normal Word application window. However, there are only three default tabs. The File tab, the Blog Post tab, and the Insert tab. The Blog Post tab contains the controls you use to create the blog post. The Insert tab contains many of the same options and functions like the normal Insert tab in the ribbon does. After building your blog post by creating it as you would a normal Word document, there are some special options available. In the Blog button group on the Blog Post tab in the ribbon, you will see the Publish, Home Page, Insert Category, Open Existing, and Manage Accounts buttons. These buttons are for working specifically with blog posts. Clicking the Home Page button takes you to the home page of your blog. The Insert Category button lets you assign your blog to a category, making it easier for people to find. The Open Existing button lets you open an existing blog post that you can edit. Click the Manage Accounts button to manage your blogging accounts. Clicking the drop-down part of the Publish button shows the commands you use to publish your blog post. In this drop-down menu, choose the Publish as Draft command to post a draft of your blog to your blogging site that only you can read. Alternatively, to fully publish your blog post, choose the Publish command from this drop-down menu instead. Your blog post is then uploaded to your blogging site and becomes live for anyone with access to view. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.